Hi guys, Dr. Jeremy Height here with Pinnacle Chiropractic and Rehab in West Fargo with Research That Matters TV, talking about a really important topic today. Top healthcare organizations now agree on what to do for low back pain. According to The Lancet, low back pain is the number one source of disability in the world. And if you've dealt with low back pain in the past, you understand just how much it can alter your daily life. Even simply standing up straight can feel like an incredibly impossible task because how debilitating it could be. Many top healthcare organizations have begun to publish recommendations for the best ways to take care of low back pain. Their findings may surprise you. The care provided by chiropractors ranks in the top of many leading healthcare recommendations to relieve low back pain with movement-based strategies such as spinal adjustments, controlled exercise, and dynamic stretching are just a couple of the most effective ways to relieve low back issues. Not only are movement-based strategies good at providing fast relief, but emerging research shows that they may be able to offer a preventative effect when continued over time. The day of taking drugs and medication for back pain are over. Prescriptions are now rarely recommended as the first option due to their dangerous or negative side effects and lack of results. So you may not have heard that many well-respected healthcare organizations support chiropractic care for the treatment of back pain. Harvard Health and Mayo Clinic have published numerous articles highlighting chiropractic and movement-based treatment options and clinical care guidelines discourage the use of medication for back pain due to the dangers, risk, and lack of results. We're happy that major trusted healthcare organizations have evolved to support natural ways to find relief from low back pain. If you or somebody you know is struggling with back pain, reach out to us today. Our practice can help provide you with a thorough evaluation to determine the source of your problem and the treatment that's needed to help you find relief. All right, have a good day. I will see you next week on another episode of Research That Matters TV.